The College of Rehabilitation Sciences of the University of Santo Tomas contributes to the nation and the world by producing therapists who can competently demonstrate the profession's necessary skills and outcomes. The College of Rehabilitation Sciences has adequate and well-equipped laboratory facilities for the use of the students. The laboratory rooms for the physical therapy professional subjects are Room 212, or the PT Skills Laboratory, located at the St. Martin de Porres Building, Human Performance Laboratory and Anatomy Laboratory, located at the Central Laboratory Building, and Sports Science Gym at the Quadricentennial Pavilion. The Physical Therapy Skills Laboratory supports teaching in-depth skills to physical therapy students in the neuromuscular and musculoskeletal systems. Students learn and practice fundamentals of physical therapy examination, evaluation, and management of patients following musculoskeletal injury, central nervous system pathologies for geriatrics and pediatrics patient populations. Among the skills taught to students is transfers. Here, academic staff as laboratory demonstrators show how to properly transfer patients from a sitting to a standing position to promote functional activities. Parallel bars and stairs are available to practice instructing gait and stair climbing activities for patient care. Students use the laboratory to learn how to implement therapeutic exercises following the standard protocol of positioning, handling, and dosage parameters. The laboratory is the location where the student practices manual techniques and therapeutic exercises, including aerobic, strengthening, flexibility, balance training, core training, and proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation technique. The laboratory houses physical modalities and agents, including cryotherapy, superficial heat, deep heat or ultrasound and diathermy, laser traction, mechanical compression, and electrical stimulators that include interferential, pre-modulated, medium-frequency options. The department also utilizes a shockwave machine, an emerging modality in physical therapy practice. Gate devices such as crutches, walkers, canes, and wheelchairs are available for practice and demonstration. Examples of orthosis and prosthesis are available for students to understand their function and appropriate use. Students become versatile in physical therapist patient examination, evaluation, diagnosis, prognosis, and intervention for pediatric cases. Skills include elevating patients' movement impairments and functional limitations by designing, implementing, and modifying therapeutic interventions to help patients return to function. The laboratory has storage for physical modalities, exercise equipment, and assistive devices such as wheelchairs and crutches used for training. The laboratory is equipped with multimedia projectors for presentations and video demonstrations. Teaching strengthening exercises is conducted in the sports science gym, a fully equipped purpose-built gym used for teaching health and fitness programs. Physical therapy students work together with sports science students for these learning experiences. Located in the first floor of the Central Laboratory, the Anatomy Laboratory allows first-year students to have a hands-on dissection of cadavers in preparation for their practical exams. Human anatomy models and virtual applications are also integrated into the teaching and learning activities of the students.
The laboratory is designed to provide a teaching environment for skills in musculoskeletal physical therapy through interactive learning and clinical scenarios simulation. The laboratory offers an environment for the students to practice skills of orthopedic and basic physical therapy assessment, including palpation, goniometry, muscle strength, gait, and vital signs assessment. The Human Performance Laboratory has one Vicon 3D motion capture device set with eight cameras, one Delsys Trigno TM Avanti S EMG machine with eight regular sensors, two force plates for analysis of movements and biomechanics. The musculoskeletal ultrasound machine is also available for teaching and research purposes. To aid in effective teaching and learning, all classrooms are adequately equipped with technological aids such as portable computers, LCD projectors, and audio-visual system. Adequate seating capacity, lighting, and ventilation are conducive to learning. Internet connection inside the classrooms is available upon request. These learning spaces allow flexible arrangements which support collaborative learning essential to achieve learning outcomes. The Center for Health Research and Movement Science serves as the research unit of the College of Rehabilitation Sciences. All research activities initiated and developed in the college are coursed through the CHRMS. Its research projects focus on assessments and interventions to improve health, fitness, and quality of life for different patient and client populations. These studies were previously carried out at the Center for Research on Movement Science, or CRMS, now known as CHRMS. The CHRMS serves as the research unit of the University of Santo Tomas College of Rehabilitation Sciences. CHRMS develops all research activities initiated in USD CRS. CHRMS research projects focus on assessment and interventions to improve health, fitness, and quality of life for different patient and client populations. To ensure the ethical conduct of research undertakings in the college, including those performed by its students, the College of Rehabilitation Sciences has the Ethics Review Committee, which reviews all research proposals from the faculty and students of the College of Rehabilitation Sciences for scientific, technical, and ethical soundness in order to protect the rights and safety of humans in research by upholding the principles of health, research ethics, and good clinical practice. For CRS student research, the USD CRS ERC coordinates directly with the research writing coordinators of their respective department on matters pertaining to ethics review of protocols. The committee shares the first floor office space with the Center for Health Research and Movement Science. The smooth operations of the college and its programs are overseen by the officials and staff in the administration office, located in the second floor of the San Martin de Porres building. The administration offices include the offices of the dean, regent, assistant dean, and the college secretary, and have workstations for the office clerks. There's also a receiving area for guests and a mimeographing room. Two faculty lounges are used by the faculty members from all four programs of the college. These faculty rooms are located in the second floor of the San Martin de Porres building and in the central laboratory. The department chairs have their workstations in the San Martin de Porres building faculty lounge. 
The mental wellness and career needs of the students are under the care of the Counseling and Career Center, which established a satellite office in the College of Rehabilitation Sciences. The Guidance Counselor's Office, located in the sixth floor of the USC Hospital and accessible from the San Martin de Porres Building, provides a safe and secure space for the counselor to conduct one-on-one -on -one and small group conferences with learners. A branch of the university-wide Miguel de Benavides Library, the Health Sciences Library is found at the fourth floor of the San Martin de Porres Building. This library serves primarily the needs of the students of the Faculty of Medicine and Surgery, College of Nursing, and College of Rehabilitation Sciences, faculty members, alumni of UST, and off-campus researchers. Located on the first floor of the San Martin de Porres building is the College Computer Barn, which houses workstations and equipment for serious faculty members and students to address their computer technology needs. The movable desks and chairs allow flexibility in terms of groupings, fostering better collaboration among users. The computer barn has a cubicle for the computer laboratory technician who provides technical support to users and ensures the maintenance of the facilities and equipment. Music